Hello, Gwen here. Yeah, get a little more light in here. Um, Gwen here, Swamp Picker. I'm going to do uh, like a little haul video of what I got this week and last week. Um, let's do it, like I said, it's going to be real quick. Only 15 or 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to wait until a few people jump in the show before I really get started. And all that. So everybody had a good week. Good pickings. Good sales. Need to prepare with some stuff to say before the like actual show actually starts, so that way I can cover up the dead space and all that. Here at work, yeah, there's a few shows going on right now, so we sometimes step on each other's toes. And all that. This is about my only time I can do a live show and all that on Sundays. Anybody here, give me a thumbs up or say something in the chat. Let's go ahead and start, you know, like so nobody's here. I'm going to kind of mix it up between last week and this week. Got this um, Coca-Cola sign, button sign. I think it's about 12 inches across. No, it is a reproduction from 2010. But for a buck, you know, I'll hang it up in my little, my shit, in my, um, my wall next door in my storage room. And all that, so. And it's pretty heavy, too. You know that? Another item I found was this coffee pot type deal. I'm not sure what brand, how you pronounce it. Bodum. You know that? It had two bucks on it. Um, like I said, I opened it up and it was new. Uh, it's made in Portugal. Now, I scanned the barcode. And when I did that, it pulled up like sixty-two dollars and eighteen cents. I don't know if it ever happened to any of y'all before, but a lot of time when you scan something, it doesn't always. You put it in my hand afterwards, it will pull up different amounts totally. It um actually pulled up around like nineteen ninety-nine, nine ninety-nine. Ship, you know, free. You know, some of us doing some free shipping, some of them weren't. But this is over a pound, so it's kind of big. So. And all that, but it's not too big of a loss. I only paid a buck for it, and all that. And it, like I said, opened it up and it had like the plastic wrap and all that still on it. Another item I got that from last week is um, I bought a Scrabble game, and all that. It's missing, it only had um. 94 tiles in it, as you can see, kind of like that. I threw away the box and all that, because basically I'm going to just throw this in into another box with some loose letters. And once I get a whole bunch of them, a lot of them out. Hey, Craig, how's it going? I've only done like a couple of items so far, a button sign on Coke and all that, but I'll throw that in a lot, you know, at, you know try to get a thousand of them, 500 of them. And like I said, I'll lock these together, you know, throw those aside and all that. Find anything good today? And all that. Yeah, like I said, and like I said, um, you know, when I saw it, when I scanned it, it had sixty-two bucks on it. I wish I could get sixty-two dollars for this, you know, and all that. But like I said, when you put it in my hand, like I said, I don't know if you caught it, you know, you know, some of them were like nine ninety-nine, nineteen ninety-nine. I, you know, 
I'm trying to remember, but like I said, I only paid a buck for it, so it's not too bad. It was lost. And like I said, when I bought those um, Scrabble pieces, if I can find it, um, basically I paid, you know, this was in a big box. He said a buck for the whole box, and I'm talking about 20 by 20 by 24. The guy buys clothes out at state sales. He was trying to get rid of the box. Maybe I should have got the box, but all I wanted was that. You know, I didn't dig through the box out on top. And it's a Boswick stapler. One of them was selling around like 30 bucks. You know, it's missing the plate right there and all that. And it's kind of grungy, but a lot of, a lot of them. But basically, I got that for free. Well, I paid 12 and a half cents for it. I got the, scrap, like you said, the Scrabble pieces. Total of 25 cents for all three pieces, all three. And I already, like you said, got rid of the, I don't think it even had a board in it, or did it? I'll throw away the box and all that. Um, real quick, um, yesterday I got this, which is not much. It had 25 cents on it, and I'm a, I don't know how to score, well, screen share, but I'm gonna pull up a picture and bring the camera down. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that. Norelco Phillips on Speed XL. Bring that camera back up. Hey, could you see that, Craig? Okay, but um, on that picture, I paid um, this and the razor. I paid 50 cents for both of them. Um, I listed the razors sometime yesterday at work, you know, with, with Friday. And so on Friday night, watching somebody's show live, um, they made me an offer of, um, well, I gave them an offer of 28 50 They came down like just 26 bucks, 95 or something like that, and I shot back with 28 50 I had them listed for $29.99 free shipped. So basically, you know, I sold them for 28 50 shipped them out yesterday for $0.25. Cents. So between fees and all that, I'll probably make 20 bucks, hopefully, and all that. But that's, I wish I could find a box of those. I mean, you know, like I said, it would be really worth it. So those razors yesterday and also sold one of these, you know, size seven and all that. And all that. So those two items went out yesterday. Uh, found this at a church sale. I thought it was a giant chess piece at first. A little tiki statue. Some of them are going 10 bucks, some of them 30, but there's nothing. Excuse me. There's no markings on it. And you can see that little residue tape. They put a price tag of 25 cents. A piece of um, masking tape at the bottom. So when I pulled it off, you know what? It took the tag with it. But like I said, I meant, you know, like you can still take, but well, for 25 cents, I can't really go wrong, too wrong. Uh, same church sale. There's your little um, swing line staplers, you know, 25 cents each. So like I said, I, you know, I'll maybe lock those up together. You know, like, like I said, I only pay 25 cents each on those. Um, same garage sale. When I got up there, I, you know, I started looking at it. I noticed, you know, the tape that was off. If you look on this one, you see the orange tape and all that. That means it's still, it's never been used. With the other ones, you know, had a rubber band. I told the lady I didn't want it and all that. And she said, we're trying to get rid of everything. I said, I'll give you a buck for it. And it had $3 on it. So I'll offer a duck buck. But there's three sealed ones in there. So if you notice, these are sealed. It's three sealed, so basically I paid a buck for those. Catch up, Craig. That's the button sign I found for a buck last week. It was like a repop 2010, but oh, that's going to go in my little personal stash. All right, now let me see. Open this up real quick. Oh, I got this last week. I think I paid a buck for this here also. You go to Christmas times, like an outlet, you plug in, and you plug in your extension cord to it. It's all sealed and all the pieces are there and all that. So also got you some local pickup and all that. And these I got last week. They were, you know, I paid a buck for them. Some of these sell like for $8.95 new and all that. And these have never been used, so I'll use that on my personal stuff. And um, down this American Tourist 
video. They got like Samsonite and I think American Tourist you know, But um, it's super clean and all that. But if you notice these little knobs on the side, there's a little tray that fits in there. You know, some of them do come with mirrors, but it's like clean. But I paid like two bucks for it and all that. And if I send something like breakable and all that, I got like a couple of busts. I think, you know, for shipping, you know, glass breakables or delicates, you know, stuff like this, if you can find it for a buck or two bucks, you know, like I said, buy it and all that. So when you ship something that's heavy duty, and put this in your picture, that way they know that you're going to be sending that breakable in a hard case, which would probably help. You know what? And I found these yesterday. I'm just going to open up one and show it. I got them for basically a buck. It was like a six o'clock sale, but I didn't get there until like 6.45. But um, it's hand paint, painted porcelain, clogs made in Holland. It says like hand painted in the bottom. It's like I said, it says Holland on the bottom. Some of them, if you see pictures on eBay, I was checking them. They got a little, make a little, put little holes in them and kind of like got a little string or a ribbon on them. But these didn't have any holes on it and all that. So I got to do a little bit of research. Maybe I can maybe get twenty dollars out of both of them. You know, What's good, Craig? Anything there? You want to plug your nine o'clock show uh, tomorrow morning? Like I said, everybody must be sleeping today because you're the only one here. Like I said, I put it in this little bag and saran wrap them, and I'll put them in my death pile until I can have time to list it. Throw some on the outside. All right. Found this last week. I don't know if I overpaid for this or not. You know, saw the box was old. Like I said, it moves around a lot, so I need to re reposition it. But it's a, a pedicure set. You know, it has this little, like almost like an ink well. These are like the instructions or something. I didn't want to, you know, leave them out and get all torn up. So I'm going to try to show it best as I can. Like, like that. Almost like, like, it's got the little, like, pad, little scissors. And they seem to be made in Germany or somewhere like that. I guess the, the dig in your nails and get all the grime out. And um, actual clippers. And I'm not sure what this is, you know. Like it is broke here. But, you know, so I think I paid $5. He had like $25 on it or something. Crazy price. He said he bought it at an auction, older older gentleman. And this stuff moves around quick in here. It's not the best case in the world. Uh. I think I got this last week too. You know what? It's a little briefcase. First, I thought it was selling in sample, but she said it was a business card holder. Actually, pops open with little latches. But you know, I really couldn't find it. I think I found one on there, but you know, it looked vintage, and I only paid twenty-five cents for it. So I figured, what the heck? Um, I think I paid fifty cents for all three of these brand new tapes, and I got more. So I'll just lot them up. Try to put in lots of tens. And I found this yesterday. I can't find any maker's mark or anything on it. But a little music box. It does use nails in there, but it looks still new because a lot of times people use, they use screws. 
You know what? But um, you see the little mechanism right there that stops the music right there. You know what? But it has a scene of um, the French Quarter or Bourbon Street or something like that back in, I guess, the 1800s. New Orleans on there. But it's a um, place Saints marching in. You know, like I said, there's no tag on the bottom. So I'm going to do a little research. I'm not sure if that, you know, I only paid, I think, a dollar for this. So I didn't pay too much for it. I'm going to put this back in the box so I don't tear it up. Hey, Treasure Hustlers. Yeah, this is kind of a last minute show, so. Like I said, that's the music box if you missed it. Place to sit when the Saints come marching in. You know, uh, hopefully they win in their football game now, hopefully. Um, I think this is at another sale, or actually ran into another, um, not a YouTuber, but another reseller. You know, uh, got both of these for a buck. And like I said, always look for the expiration date. Um, Malaysia, 2015. And the same one on this, Malaysia 2015. And all that. So I might I don't know if I'll sell them you know, sell them together maybe. Anyway, still go for first class. And all that. Found this yesterday. I think this is the one I found at this, the early sale, the same place where I bought those little sh mini shoes. You know, a brother um, printer. You know, so I might keep this for myself, test it and see how it works. If not, I'll just sell it. So like I said, can make warning labels and all that when I send out packages and all that. And I paid a dollar. At, actually, the price is still on there. I paid a buck fifty for it. And all that. And um, my, one of my last items. I mean, I haven't had a chance to even go through these. You know, I just kind of picked one. You know, as I was holding this up. Um, I want a postcard allotment on Donatella's auction show, which is actually going on right now. She does about three of those a week. But uh, what's cool about most of these credit, um, postcards, you know, some of them are unused. Some of them got postmarks on the back, which, you know, lets me know how old they are. And all of them have the plastic sleeve in it, which is really cool. I'll probably bring these home because I keep saying I'm going to try to check them out. See, this one's um, got nothing on it. It's a uh, Grand Canyon. And one day I'm gonna put that on my bucket list. I'm gonna go down there. Why that? Go check that out. And then also here, this is the one. Another one. It's got rounded edges too, so I mean, I don't see a date on it. On a somewhere in Phoenix, Arizona. But it was over a hundred cards, and I paid. I think $39. This is like the Marine dining room. I'm not sure if it's like in DC or somewhere like that, maybe. Yeah. And this is another old picture. Let me see. Oh, Colorado River, Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona. And this postmark is 1955. On that one, if you notice back here, so always check your postmark. And here's some postcard guy. I, I'm not sure what his name goes by, but like I said, I know. I think Don, the um, auction guy, he does a lot of postcards. And there's another one, he, you know, his YouTube channel name is Postcard Something. I don't remember exactly. Somebody, somebody knows. And this went to St. Petersburg, Florida, and has a two cent stamp on it. I think this is um that big bridge in Colorado, and that's like I said, no postmark. But like I said, one of the postmark are hopefully a little bit better. Yeah, they started to write on this. It never got sent. It says Thursday, nineteen sixty-four on that one. So like I said, I'll try to like I said, lock these together. Hey, Ken, thanks uh, for showing up. I wish they would put the date on the actual card to become a new, you know, nice. I'm not sure how old this is. It looks old. I'm well, not super old, but maybe 60s, early 70s, pyramids. You know 
trying to find something really, really old I can show you real quick. Well, most of these are never been used, which is pretty cool. There's another one, 19. I can't see it, but it's maybe 50s or so. I mean, looking at the picture of the people in there. No, it's like an old um, car museum. You know, like I said, I can't read it. Dearborn, Michigan, maybe. I have to break out the magnifying glass for that one. Hey, Anna, thanks for showing up. Fireman Food, thanks for showing up. Another one. So this is um, Zierman's or something. Chicken dinners. That's an odd one. I like one of those old side roadside um, establishments, like a hotel slash restaurant. There's another uh, another one from 1955. Old swimming pool. And like I said, uh, looks like it has an, around 1955 on it, on the back. I guess I got a chance I'll read some of these and hopefully they have something interesting to say. I got the story to go with it. And it has a two cent stamp also on the back. Another swimming pool one. And all these came from Donatella's um, auction from the week before. Like I said, she has some good stuff too. I mean, like I said, after this show, I'm going to get on there and see what she, anything that I can get. This is the YMCA in Detroit, Michigan. Well, it might be pretty old. I'm not sure. Got a one cent stamp on it. I mean, look at the handwriting. They wrote good back then. So, you, know, you know, I write like chicken scratch, scratch now, but that's pretty cool. And all that. And let's see. It says def definitely Detroit. You know, like I said, July 10th. I can't see the actual year. And all that. But yeah, I'll try to do a little bit of research. And all that. But like I said, in the YMCA. Nineteen sixty-five. How much was it? Or that's that. And like I said, I don't have the item with me. I wanted to. I had it, left it at home, but I, got, I want a coffee cup off their merch channel on um, Nashville, Nashville Pickers, Roy, and uh, I've got bad names, but or Raymond Hack, man, bad name. Then you learn names. That's an old card, Michigan Highways. But um, I think they'll be on the, tonight, you know, the Nashville Flippers. And I actually met them. I got to meet both of them up in Nashville a couple of weeks last month. And this one looks old because it's like a pitcher type, if you notice. But I won't know until I look at the date, but kind of, it's not an actual pitcher. It's kind of more of a painting type style. And let's see real quick. 1956. And there's the right there. So I'm just gonna go through them real quick. Like basically a lot of ocean stuff, you know, waves hitting the side of the coast. But 1966, and back then it was four cent stamps. Right there. 1972. I was hoping to get some even older ones. If you look in the picture, that's pretty cool. I mean, they got a lot of the old cars in there. Sometimes that helps something sell because, like I said, you know, it kind of dates it and people want to 
pictures of old car, cars in there. Like I said, there's no date on it. And like you said, if you notice, all of them got the plastic sleeve on it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Whoa, this is a cool one here. Any guess on how old this one is? I guess it make it kind of hard with the sleeve being kind of reflective. Turn it around, show you the date, try to. 1939. This was from, came from Ohio somewhere. So I'm going to have to do a little research on some of these cards. I know, like, older is better. Not, so not, I don't think older is better, but, like I said, I guess it depends on, like I said, what the picture is, too. So this is, this one came from Florida here. Let's see. West Park, Florida. Will you find anything good in the dumpsters, um, treasure hustlers? Been a while since I've seen any of y'all's videos. And that's this one's pretty cool here. The two cool cats. The bear from um is that the one that sings, whatever I'm trying to think, one of those Disney movies. I don't remember his name. I don't remember the fox. Fox seems more cur current there, but it is 1991 on that one there. Hey, Spark the Hound, the people who um, Spark the Hound, he's actually the this morning's greeter at my church and all that. How's it going, man? I'm not sure where that's at. Some port or shipping channel, like one of those like tugboat type deals. This is, I'm guessing this one's probably Louisiana here. It's like a steamboat. It says Michigan and all that. Let me see. It's actually from um, Dearborn, Michigan, so it's not Louisiana. I thought maybe it was like a bayou or something like that. Old steamboat type deal. Well, it's like a small one. Let me see. Horses. This one looks old here, but it's all folded up. Wow, this one's even older than that 1939 one I showed you. This is from, um, seen from Palmer Park, Detroit, Michigan. It has a one cent stamp on it. And like I said, if you see the crease in it, which is not good, but I like the date on her, 1912. And for you, all those um, people that kind of showed up late, um, I got this one of Donatella's au auctions, and I paid, um, I think, $39 for and it included shipping and all that. Okay, I guess that's a vintage nuclear plant. I mean, it doesn't say a date on there. It says 1963. I'm not sure if that's a nuclear plant or, or what, based on that dome deal in the back. But it's like a Catholic, old Catholic church there. I need to be wearing gloves when it's like I said, acid from your hands can really mess something up. And this one looks old here. The armory in Missouri. No date. I need to find one that's really old. Come on, let's see what we can find that's really old. Um, 
this is not too old. This is like 1972. That's pretty cool. This is probably 60s or so based on that, on that car in there. Yeah, it's 1968 according to the date on the back. Like maybe 1968 or something like that. I can't see, but postmark. It's kind of um, faded, whatever. Another old one. You haven't lived. It's like 1965 there. Pretty cool, 1963. Let's see any more old ones. Public Library, no, nope, no. Nope. Here's another old one. Hopefully it's real old. Let's see. But it's all gunked up too, you know. Maybe 1914. Let's see. No, it's December 4th, Portland, Maine. Got a one cent stamp on it. It's all wrinkled up. Yeah. So this one's pretty old there. Here's another old one. 1929. There's another old one, but I can't, no date on it. I see a one cent stamp. The postmarks faded. Right there. I guess whoever they were trying to sell it in a shop it has 50 cents on it, so I'm not sure how old that. This was from shot in Maine. And this is fairly new here. You can see the, the sign that says MasterCard and um, Visa. I think that's what it looked like back in the 70s and all that. And this car might be put out by MasterCard and Visa because it's actually got it written on the back, printed part of the title, I guess. Here's another old one, pretty cool one. Baltimore, Maryland. No date on the back. This is actually in New Orleans here, Pat O'Brien's. I actually got a Pat O'Brien's um, drinking glass back there. They, I think they're known for making hurricanes type of drink. And all these from New Orleans. So I might grab, um, if you notice a couple of these have like New Orleans on the back. I think I'll, what I'll do is get them all together and make a lot on those. Put all those together. Hopefully there's not many on there that are those on there, like New Orleans on there, so I can group them together. Yeah, at first this looks old, but it's only from 1970. Let's 
And there's another old one, but I think it looks old. Yeah, this looks old. You know what? 1965. Well, thanks for everybody. Well, I think that's everything I pretty much got. And the next segment is sponsored by well, the Nugget of the Day by Chick-fil-A. Today's um, Nugget of adv Advice. List what you buy. And don't put it in your death pile. So I don't know if the camera's catching that, but yeah. And this is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Okay. I need to charge them for that too. Okay. Well, I'll get a quick shout out to everybody and all that. Oh, I mean, Fallon's about to go live. Thanks, Ken, for showing up. Kent Daigle. You know what? I'm bad with names. Treasure Hustlers, Jackie, and blah, blah, blah. I got it written at home, all these different people and all that. Anybody on there? Thanks for uh, Craig, the um, Craigslist land shark picker. About to say the Craigslist hunter. You no know, land shark picker, Craig. You know what? Uh, Ken Green for showing up, and more Mora. You know what? Well, thanks everybody for one comment below. Hit the like button. Um, hey Saints, win! Thanks, man. Not by how much? Let me see. Saints football score. Yeah, thirty-one to twenty-four. Are cool. You no, know, they need a win because without um, Drew Brees, at least we know. You know, we're, like I said, Buccaneers and all that. You know, Dallas was a good team. You know, to beat without Drew and all that. So it makes us like what four and one now. You know that. So like I said, thanks for everybody watching. Yeah, the Tigers won yesterday too, but that was like a blowout there. We'll find out what we're made of next week when we play um, Florida, Flo Florida Gators. And it's a seven o'clock game, so they'll probably have a hundred thousand plus in that stadium. And all that next week, I'll just watch it from home. I know some people going. And all that, but um, thanks for watching. Donatella is probably probably about an hour into our show now, and a couple other people. Thanks, thanks to Nashville Flippers for the coffee cup, which I don't have. It's at home right now, and everybody. But thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.